Democrats called out their GOP colleagues as the House floor erupted into confusion and chaos, a shouting match with Maryland's Steny Hoyer leading the charge. How is that possible, Mr. Speaker? Mr. Speaker, let me raise a parliamentary inquiry. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, the chair will put Mr. Them in Speaker. With just seconds to go, the amendment appeared headed toward passage, but then GOP leaders kept the vote open, long enough for seven Republicans to change their votes and kill the amendment. On this vote, the A's are 212, the nays are 213, the amendment is not adopted. Democrats accused the GOP of breaking House rules to flip the vote. How can the vote change when no one comes to the well to change their vote? At his weekly news conference, House Speaker Paul Ryan said he didn't know what led to the vote changing and later said LGBT matters are none of the Fed's business. I see this as a federalism issue. This should be left up to the states and, and the federal government ought to respect that. So what to make of it all? NBC's Chuck Todd puts it in perspective. Political discourse in this country on Facebook, on Twitter, on, on social platforms is very coarse. It's very hot. And, you know, we express outrage in the mainstream media sometimes. We, oh, my God, we can't believe. But politicians are only using the same rhetoric that is used day to day on social media. So I, I think it's sort of a cultural shift that's taken place. And the fight did indeed spill over online. On Twitter, Hoyer's office identified those seven GOP reps who changed their votes. And then Hoyer's office posted a video that compared House Republicans to the source of evil in the Star Wars movies. The theme song and everything was on it. Live in the newsroom tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL-TV 11 News.